I'm dead. Throwing out the marathon a spin. Rudiger's in your face. On this episode of Perfect Play, close control, easy level. Sam, talk us through today's Perfect Play Challenge. What are we doing? So today's gonna to be working on close control and dribbling. Okay. See the area here, four quarters. We're yep. gonna move through as quick as possible, using both feet, inside, outside, going around the defenders, changing direction. Okay, maybe a step over and a skill. Ooh. And then we finish there in 30 seconds. You're buzzing with that. Well, first time I've sold Rudiger with a step over. <laughs> We've got Thiago Silva, Rudiger. Aspies at the back. Oh, it don't get any easier, does it? Let's get our pros involved, shall we? So, Silco, how long have you been at Chelsea's academy for? Under nines, late under nines, okay. Right. What's your position? What do you play? Currently, wing back. Well, Chelsea's one of those clubs that you see those attacking wing backs doing so good in the first team. So, does that give you encouragement that you've got the likes of Rhys James, the likes of Ben Chilwell, the likes of Mason Mount, even academy graduates doing it in that first team? Those three last players that you mentioned, they're big inspirations to me because obviously they're going through, yeah. they've been through the same journey as what we're all going through. Yeah, yeah. And how are you feeling about today's challenge? You confident? Yeah, I'm ready. You sure? Yeah, yeah. See the smirk? See the smirk? He's like, I'm ready. He's like, this is normal. All right then, let's get a ball. Let's go. Okay, Silco, you've got 30 seconds to go in as many boxes as you can. And each time you go in a box, you get a point. At least 15, I'm hoping for, yeah? So you've got to move with a bit of speed. That's one every two seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good, one. Oh, I'm dead. Two, three. Good, love it, Silco. Four, five, six, good. Change direction as well. Don't just go in the same way. Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, that's it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Still got ten seconds. Sixteen, seventeen. You can slow it down, Silk, if you want, mate. Nineteen, <laughs> twenty, and time. Twenty-one. Love that, Silco. Carl, you see the speed there? Yeah. Can you get anywhere near that speed? Um, yeah, of course I can. Yeah, okay. no problem. Okay. Ready, Carl? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. Tackled by Thiago already. <laughs> Love it. Good. Three, four, throwing out the marathon a spin. Six, oh. seven, good. Eight. Nine, good, changing direction, yeah. Both feet, Silco says, come on, can you use that left? Yes, come on. Good, there's 11, 12. Flip flat. Flip 13, <laughs> 14, good step over. 15, and time. 16, use your time. What did he get? 21. Oh, that is so hard, you know. What do you find hardest? Looking up, even though they're not moving, Rudiger's in your face, getting the big one. <laughs> Do you not notice the difference in terms of the way he turned, in terms of how low his body got and sharpness to accelerate into a different box? I thought it was pretty similar, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your movement was like water, yeah, yeah. fluid, even just scraping the boxes, whereas I seem to be going in, turning and coming out. That's what we want to get them to do, be able to change directions off both, both sides very quickly. Yeah. And like you said, keeping your head up to make sure that you can get around the area and see where the next box is to get in quickly. And that helps with his movement because he can see where he's going. Yeah, and using both feet as well. Yeah. <coughs> I noticed that Silka wasn't this tired. <laughs> so I don't know why. I don't know why I'm this tired. Come on then, Sam. What are the results of that challenge? Well, results for that challenge was yep. Silka was way above your level, um, which we'd expect. And yep. he was 21 Fair. to 16. So uh, Silco is the winner of that challenge. Mate, well done, well done. How do you use that in a game? Do you see elements of that that you use when you're beating a defender, when you're beating a man? Yeah, all the time, because the, the still based in a small area. Yeah. So anywhere in the game, nearly corner flag, yeah. getting out of that area. Since the day I got here, I was doing this. It just, so it just becomes a part of your game. You just got to have that tight ball control because you never know when. Yeah, every time you beat a player, there's the next one in front of you, you've got to be ready. Yeah, here at the academy, we want all our players to be comfortable on the ball. Regardless so, of position. Regardless of position, so that when they're under pressure from any angle, they yeah. can deal with that and get themselves out of the situation without having to use a teammate at times. Yeah. Being able to use it with inside, outside sole, your laces, yeah, um, yeah. on both feet. It, and as you mentioned there, Silco's movement is the change of direction, which, will, yeah. which helps. I think it's working anyway. <laughs> Come on, let's do the next challenge. Let's go. That's it for today's challenge. And don't forget, there are levels to this game. If you think you can add on the next level, click here. And don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and tag us in your videos.
I'm learning. <laughs>